Welcome to Performance Upgrades. I'm your host, Dave Moss. The show is brought to you by SportBikeWrench.com. Performance parts and professional advice. Remember, when you buy from Sport Bike Wrench, you support our programming here at On The Throttle. We are going to go ahead, remove the front wheel, and then take our OEM rotors off and replace those with aftermarket rotors. Now again, as you're dealing with brakes, make sure you've got your hands protected with some gloves and we'll dive into our uh, little box of Motion Pro gloves here. And there's a couple tips we'll show you about how to help you getting this apart even before the wheels off the bike. Now with the 2009 R6, our brake rotor bolts are actually Torx bolts, they're T40. Most of the time, they're actually Allen bolts. So, being prepared, we have all the equipment we need. Now, it's great to take these and loosen them right here, but you cannot do it yourself. So, we had Dave Williams help me a little earlier. Hold the front brake on, go ahead and insert our T40 in there, and at that point, then go ahead and loosen each individual bolt. So you just spin the wheel, go ahead, crack it again and make it loose. So using the front brake will allow you to get all of the rotor bolts loose and that's the very first thing you need to do. Now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead, remove the brake caliper and then remove the front wheel. Now if you're not sure how to remove the front wheel, we've got a couple uh, videos for you there on how to remove and reinstall wheels at the OTT website. Go to the how-to section and look for those. As the bolts are all loose, it's really nice to have it up chest height so that you can then go and extract each individual bolt and keep those off to one side. Every bike has an arrow stamped into the casting. So for our Yamaha, it's on the left side of the wheel. Also a dead giveaway is that the front of the spoke is rounded. The back of the spoke is hollow, so the wheel rotates this way. Why is that important? Well, sometimes when you buy aftermarket rotors, they are directional, so they have to go on one side of the wheel or the other. So it's extremely important that you know the direction of the wheel before you put the first rotor on. Now, we're done with the wheel for now. I'm gonna take a wire brush to all of our bolts and clean all the old Loctite off and make sure they're ready for reinstallation. Then we'll bring the wheel back up. We're ready and prepped. Our rotors that are going on today are the Galfa wave rotors, so we'll pull those out, take the first one carefully. We don't want our fingers on the rotor surface itself. And in this case with the Galfa rotor, you have to have the writing on the outside, but they are not directional. So we can go ahead, place this on the wheel, line the bolts up where we need them, match the holes, and we're ready to go. Now, we also have with us some blue Loctite. I prefer the gel rather than the fluid. It's a lot less messy. Go ahead and make sure that you put some Loctite on here, not a bunch. You don't need a great deal. Just a little bit will be more than enough. And just get each screw started by hand. Go through the whole process. Once you've got every screw located, tighten them up and then torque them to spec. Now that those are tight, we'll go ahead and fit the next rotor. We'll torque them on the bike using the front brake to set them correctly. Now what's very important with the Galfa rotors is as, as they have a wave pattern, you cannot have each rotor in the identical pattern. You have to have it offset. So if we grab our second rotor, okay. 
and having the table is great. We'll go ahead and place that on the rising facing up. And what we have to do is look down over the wheel to make sure that where there's a round area here on the other rotor, that has to be one of these peaks. And that is their offset. So we got it right the first time, very fortunately. Yep, that's perfect. So now we'll go ahead through the same process, blue Loctite on each bolt, tighten them up, and at that point, we're ready to go put the wheel on. Now that we're ready to do the reinstall, I put the spacers for each wheel on each side, so when I came back to put the bike in, the spacers go the right way around. That's always good practice. And then obviously, what we don't want to do is get our hands all over the rotors, so use the wheel spokes to allow you to pick it up. You'll have to get the tire up in the air, Gently reposition everything and slide it in. Go through the correct technique to make sure it's centered. Again, that video is for you, available at onthethrottle.com in terms of putting the wheel on the right way. We'll go ahead and put the brake calipers on next, now that the wheel is in. And then we'll go through the whole procedure of bouncing the front end to center the front wheel. And at that point, our job is done. Now remember, as we had talked about with pads, there are definitive braking procedures. We have Galfa pads new with Galfa rotors in this case. Please read up, be educated on that braking procedure and follow it to the letter. You don't want to warp rotors and you don't want to glaze pads. So take your time, be thorough, follow the instructions, and bed everything in perfectly and then you'll have great performance out of your new rotors. As always, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Performance Upgrade.